I'm really loving the iPhone 11. It allows the footage to be so cinematic. I'm going to show you a few ways of making this footage cinematic with your iPhone 11 right now. Hey, Sonny. Cody what? did a video on the iPhone 11 already. Cody did what? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? I'm doing a video talking about my new mandolin pedal board. I did one last year about my old board, which is in this huge box right here. It was just weighing too much, and it was so hard to carry around all the time. It was driving me nuts. And also, you know, getting in and out of vans and cars and everything else with it. It was just too big for what I really needed. Although, I mean, that's kind of what you would have carried in the old days, you know? I decided to go with something a lot smaller and a lot more portable, and this video is about that. mention we'll be landing in LA next Thursday evening and then off to Vid Summit next Tuesday night. If anyone is around and wants to hang out or go for a coffee or anything, just leave a comment down below or send me a, an email. If you want to join my Patreon, you're welcome to do that too to help out that way. And I'll be sending new things to the Patreon. For instance, the new music that I've been putting out that so was out of the Patreon months in advance of the singles coming out on iTunes and Spotify and Google and all the rest of them. Now the next thing is I want to show you my new pedal board from the right hand side to the left. First, you have the compressor section, which is right here, which is turned on with a switch. Below that, you've got the overdrive section, which is turned on with one of the foot pedals. Then you've got the high gain, which is next. Then you've got the EQ section, which is here. Then the mod section, which includes a phaser, a tremolo, and a flanger. I have it set to tremolo. That's in now. And then the space section, which is the last of the sections. And this includes delay, reverb, or delay and reverb at the same time together, at last. The last button here is a hold, which turns off the entire machine and then goes to a tuner. So we can quickly tune up. I had the mandolin tuned in octaves on the bottom strings, which is kind of unusual, but it gives it the sound of a 12 string in the bottom. You know? Instead of the usual doubled strings at the bottom. So how I have it set up is pretty simple, really. Starting from the right hand side of the machine, although the actual chain starts with the tuner first. I clip the compressor on, which I leave on all the time, with only the tiniest bit of compression going a little bit of eq and then a little bit of volume just to keep the mandolin even even sound and now what i use the overdrive for is as a gain for soloing so when i punch that in and then back to lower volume the high gain i have set just to add a little bit of punch when i'm playing with the full band when the guitar player goes for a solo so i'll just add a bit of that I have again the gain set all the way down and the tweak all the way down just to add a little bit of grunge. When the guitar player is taking a guitar solo, I pop that on a rhythm guitar almost sound. Just a little bit of gnarliness in the bottom, right? Then my next thing will be my EQ, which I leave in most of the time as well. The EQ I have in pre, a small boost at 250, a little bit of the top end taken out, and the rest are pretty much even as it is. Okay, next on the list is the tremolo. Which can also go with the tap. So you can time it to whatever song you're playing. The next is the echo delay. 
the space section, and then the space, which is the delay and reverb, which I leave in all the time as well. So I have my delay set up. And let's say, uh, So just a bit behind the mandolin. Then I have my reverb set to this. You won't even hear that reverb when you're playing with the full band or even when I'm doing the duo and trio things, but it just adds a little bit of space. This is how I normally keep it, which is both the delay and reverb together. If you want to tap only on the delay, you press these two buttons and you see that it turns red. If you want the tap only on the modulation, you press these two buttons and it turns blue. And if you want the tap on the delay and mod to run at the same speed, you press these two and it turns purple. So then... Cool. If you want to run presets, so let's say my preset is the EQ and that, you see that this is number one here, so I hold this down for two seconds and it starts beeping. If I want to go between my presets, I hit these two buttons together and the P shows up there. So now when I hit one, it'll turn on my compressor, my EQ, and you can just run through. You have five presets that you can run. Between live and preset, pressing these two together, it goes back to live, which then just runs them as they are. So that is my basic setup as I'm playing right there. I use the tap on this side, just to get the timing of the song. And then I use the overdrive as a volume boost, right? So I have the gain at zero, the tone almost all the way up, and then I use it as a volume boost here, right? Anyway, so that's basically how I use it. If you're a guitar player, you can just pop the, ca pop the cable out right there, bang your guitar right into it, and run it exactly the same. So you've got a one input here, Right, so this sends an effects loop by pressing these two buttons at the same time. You turn the effects loop on, which is here. The gain stage going to the gain stage of your amp and the effects loop going to the effects loop of your amp in stereo. And then the last, the output here is got an amp simulator in it with its own volume control. So that allows you to use it for headphones or send it direct to the PA if you're using it for guitar. I, I don't need the amp sound for the mandolin. And look at the size of that thing. Instead of that huge box I used to carry, all I need is this and the power supply, a couple of cables, and I'm ready to rock. And I would like to thank the people at Pro Musica and Cork for helping me get this pedal. It's a Moore black truck. It's designed for guitar, but it does work no problem with the mandolin. And as you can see, there's a nice little mandolin. Let's just see what it sounds like. <laughs> So don't forget to subscribe, hit the button, and thanks so much. Hopefully I'll get to see you guys out in LA in a week or two. So I got the iPhone 11. It's the first phone that I've got that hasn't got the fingerprint button or a home button at all. So it took a little while to get used to that. And also the new gestures, I'm really enjoying it. And the camera is amazing. Now I don't have the Pro, I have just the straight 11. And I think for most people, it's just the way to go. To save 300 euro, which is the difference in price from the version that I got. I got the 128 version. At very least, you should go for the 128 gigs instead of the 64. For 50 euros or 50 dollars, whatever it is in the States, it is absolutely worth doing. I've been using the phone with just a little man Frollo. The phone is actually filming me right now on the one that's just a tiny little bit bigger than this one, the one with the extendable legs. It's just handy enough to vlog with, just like that. Tilt this back a tiny bit, boom, right, like that, right? The new ultra-wide camera gets everything in, no problem. <laughs> what I did was basically just look at the backside of the phone in the direction of the two cameras. Because it has such a wide scope, it just caught me with no problem. In the same way that a GoPro would, because it's got such a wide lens.